I think na banggit nung ano nung last na FCC na talagang sadyang karabihan sa mga freelancers tata ba? Kasi nga oh. wala na yung wala na yung physical na na maglalakad ka pa or even sa akin yung stress eh kasi nakakangayayat yung stress. So kung lolobo man ang ano ang freelancers, I think in a good way yung kasi hindi yung ano hindi yung unhealthy na tumataba but palibhasa ano parang tumataba out of relief mm. I think that that's how I see it ikaw um sa tingin ko naman uh syempre sa start you really need to uh, take time to study a lot of skills and it would really uh, take a toll uh, sometimes on your physical uh, mm. appearance Uh, but then when you get all the skills that is necessary to complete the job and it ha- and it becomes a a routine then definitely you can uh, uh insert some i uh, know some time for exercising some time uh, for yourself ganung bagay so definitely mag mas gagwapo ka kumpara sa <laughs> ano sa <laughs> corporate job kasi may mas uh, mas may mas maraming oras ka na kumpara sa ano, uh, yeah, corporate. Yeah. I, I think ano rin eh, yung, ang sa akin yung stress level ang tinitignan ko kasi um, kahit na nag-aaral ka, if you already landed a job, tapos yung nag-aaral ka w- during the job, I think may ano na doon, may konting relief na may signs of a better future already. You're looking forward to something good which makes you not so stressed. Kaya na, pag, sa akin, pag, hindi, sa, hindi sa pagyayabang pero pag pagtabihin mo ang, for example, uh, nasa call center versus nasa, free, uh, nasa freelancing, pareho sila na kung tutuusin eh, yung nature ng job nila halos parehas. Pero if you look at the stress lines, mga, <laughs> may mga linya-linya sa mukha. For sure, yung mga yung, yung nasa call center ang marami nun. Kasi, uh, you know, the fact that you have to please a lot of people aside from yung clients ng, clients ng boss mo. Nandiyan yung boss mo, nandiyan yung manager mo, nandiyan yung team leader, tapos nandiyan ang mga workmates. Whereas in freelancing, nakafocus ka lang sa iisang tao. So, hindi masyado yung stress para sa akin. Ha? If I look at people, I usually, I don't know, I'm being judgmental, but if if I see people, I sometimes uh, say, uy, stress yan. Stress itong taong ito. Parang nagaganon. Napapagganon ako. If, when I pass by, when I go, when I walk down the street, tapos may nakikita kong tao, parang, ay naku, kawawa naman ito na stress ito. <laughs> yung mga ganun. Kasi you can see it in their, the text, uh, the texture of their skin, yung dry na dry, tapos yung may mga dark circles na underneath their eyes. Those alone are signs of an unhealthy living. So, siguro kahit na kahit na nai-stress pa rin itong mga beginners sa freelancing, I am hoping that they are taking this uh, positively para hindi yung ano hindi yung nakakangayayat na stress ang nakukuha nila. And as as well, yung ano, what, what I, t- I don't know what you guys teach to your students, but what I tell people is to stick to, to what they know muna if they're looking for clients if they're looking for contracts just stick to what you know uh pag meron silang sinasabi na ano na hindi mo maintindihan hayaan mo muna just get uh, get rid of that tapos mag-apply ka lang sa yung alam na alam mo yung you are really confident that you know and that's uh, that's kind of how i started kasi i i hindi ko inatupag na na uy may hindi ako alam diyan pag-aaralan ko kaya hindi eh. I, i went straight to the thing that i know And then, saka ko na lang dinagdagan eventually. Kaya, nung paghanap pa lang ng client sa akin doon, parang hindi hindi ko na-experience yung stress na na kailangan pag-aralan mo pa yung mga skills. My skills just evolved eh, organically. Yun, yun na lang ang nangyari sa akin nung time na yan. So, that's why I love freelancing. Because we have uh, many ways to approach it. Uh, ako na tong nagsalita ng salita. But anyway, um, <laughs> Yes, Christian. Anyway, uh, you'll have the whole R. 
uh, briefing lang tayo ng konti. If in case na may technical issues, you can just leave the studio and go back. And I'll be here waiting. Ako rin, if in case na ano, nagsasalita ka and I kind of froze, kasi pag minsan nag-refreeze ata ako sa, ano, sa, sa stream yard, I, I will exit. Huwag kang mag Don't panic. I will come back. I will always come yeah, back. Okay. That's good. Okay. Is that, yeah. Uh, meron ka bang ano? Meron ka bang iba plug? Do you have anything to advertise? Um, actually, wala naman po. Wala. All right. Or how about ano, shout outs? Shout out um, sa family ko lang sa Bicol. Pero ang problema kasi wala pa yung internet eh. Kaya wala din ano. Okay. <laughs> wala they, din they can, may shout out. Yeah, they can, ah, ano, they can uh, watch the replay. Kung sa ah, okay. Oh, ano. yeah. They will watch the replay. And then din. And so, uh, you'll have time to shout out. And uh, would it be okay for you to give us explain a little of your giveaway later on oh okay yeah uh mm -hmm. my Just giveaway a... will be uh, all about uh, how to become a video editor with uh, zero experience because that's mm -hmm. that's how i started as a video editor and i landed a uh, a job using that 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 process and really it, it works 100 percent of the time it's going to be my first time to hear about it. And um, I'm a video editor. So, yeah, that's good. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Ano pong application gamit mo? Mga apps? Uh, Adobe. Basic, basic lang. Uh, ano ako eh? Old school ako. So, even if maraming mga tools dyan. In fact, kapag may mga tools dyan na, na bago, and I am impressed dahil parang isang click lang eh na mamagic lahat. I try to break it down and do it the hard way. <laughs> Para, eh, hilig ko lang kasi ng gano'n. I love torturing myself. So, especially when it comes to video editing, parang pag may nakurso na dahan akong effect, I try to, you know, reverse engineer it and figure out how it works on Adobe. Yan ako. That's what Yan ang beauty ng, ano, ng video editing because everything can be learned as long as you know yeah. how to do it and there is really uh, some tools behind it, uh, some uh, some effects behind that uh, Mm -hmm. that video yeah patience 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 yan ang ano ng ano ng video editor so i'm glad that yeah i'm glad that i'm interviewing a fellow video editor today para ano pareho tayo ng lingua <laughs> <laughs> nevertheless ladies and gentlemen i know that you're watching right now um please listen to christian's story because it's not just about being a video editor but this is about uh his previous life and what's coming up next okay so christian are you ready yeah, I'm ready. Okay, let's go. Hello, everybody. Good evening, and welcome to another episode of Flip Chat and Ch Oh, Flip Chat and Chill to Lord. Success. I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. Na parang na hangover pa ako sa ano Flip Chat and Chill nung last time, but this is just success where we get to drag somebody to talk about his life, his profession, his success in his freelancing career. Now today we got. Christian Mamansag, who is going to talk about us, to us about being bullied and overworked noon and happy freelancer ngayon. But before we pass the mic to uh, Chris, Chris, I'm not going Before we give it to Chris, uh, let me just ask you, ladies and gentlemen, to please uh, share this video. You know, you know the drill. Share this video and put shared on the comment section down below so that you'll be receiving a giveaway from Christian himself. And that is ito. giveaway to Christian how to be a video editor with zero experience. Oh, yung mga nilalagay kong caption dito actually galing kay Ana eh. Kaya kasi miss na miss ko si Ana. Kaya ayan, copy paste lahat yung mga yan. Kaya kung merong mga wrong spelling si Ana ang pagalitan niyo, wag ako ha. But yeah, uh, there you go. So share it, put share it, and tell us where you are viewing from. Okay, let me greet the viewers very quickly before we go to Chris. Hello to... Hi, Manuel. Hi, dudes. Mr. Uh, no, he's not naked guy. Half naked guy. Mr. Half naked guy. Hello, Laura Victoria de Castro. Robles. Robes. Is that Robes? Robles. Okay. Yes, Robles. Hello, uh, Chin Villanueva. Hello, Grace Morgan Mortel. Hello, Mitch um, Olier. 
hello then okay then Torfield. Just um, let me know if you're offended with the way I pronounce your names. Pasensya na po. Hello, JV Gandeza and Mahar. Hi, Mahar. Buti naman na dito ko na naman. And we got Lynn James and Yeana Habite. Okay. Sorry for butchering your name. Hello, Mitch Olayer again. And hello, Princess de Castro. Okay. John Kevin. Wow. That's a, that's a name. John Kevin Quinonola. Uh, oh, God. Ang hirap talaga ng ganito. <laughs> Hello, I'm, um, Amelita Tiu. Hello, Josefina Sanchez. And uh, who else? Who's this? Cecil Amoslo Ahilion. Pasensya. Hindi po ako nang aasa na talagang medyo mahirap po. Um, Michaela Gamba Sensil. Oh, yeah. Michaela Gamba Sensil. And who's this? Jay Sereno from Bicol. Hello. And Maria Rosario Galvez Napucao. Dang. I did a good job reading that, I think. Hello, Gladys May Salvador um, Espedido. And yeah, that's it. Hello, everybody. Thank you very much for viewing. And please keep on sharing this video. Dahil ito po ang final episode ng Just Success this year. And it's a good thing because we got somebody who is quite an impressive person and I hope that you get to listen to his life story because marami po, tayo, marami po sa atin nang makakarelate sa kanya. Hey, again, our, the title for today is Bullied and Overworked Noon, Happy Freelancer Ngayon. Welcome to the show, Chris. Uh, please uh, greet the, audi the audiences and say something about yourself. Hello, 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 everyone. So yeah, I'm Chris and... Yeah, uh, nakikita nyo naman siguro yung mga video ko tapos mga post uh, sa Blip. And I was uh, one of the moderator at Blip. So I think uh, some of you naka-interact ko na and then nakatrabaho ko na sa Blip. So um, about me, so before I uh, I went to freelancing, I was a uh, seafarer. So I was a, a seaman for two years. And during that time, uh, since baguhin nga akong ano, seaman, na napag-isip-isip yung ko na sobrang hirap pala ng buhay sa barko. Malayo ka sa papilya mo, and then, andun pa yung mga hazards sa sa trabaho. And then, uh, although meron kang mga mga working uh, equipments na kailangan, mga working device na kailangan mo suotin, mga, mga kailangan mo gamitin, uh, some of them, since nasa gitna ka nga ng dagat, pag hindi na, ano, hindi na nasa ayos yung condition ng gamit na yun, it will actually, uh, it will take your life at risk. Ika nga. Kasi sometimes, ang nagtatrabaho ka sa, sa, sa parko, yung mga fumes, yung mga toxic gas, minsan malalanghap mo yan ng, ano, ng, ng, ng di mo alam. So, uh, nung nasa barko ako, naisip ko na, ganito ba talaga dapat ang buhay? Meron bang ibang alternative na pwede kong gawin para kumita ako ng dolyar sa lupa? So, I saw this uh, interview uh, ni Tyron uh, Sule. Uh, some of you actually don't know him, but uh, she, uh, he is a SEO specialist na na-interview sa ANC. So, naging millionaire siya. Um, sa edad na 25 years old. So sabi ko, paano kaya niya yun ginawa? So, during that time, um, mahilig siya magbasa ng ano, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, and I was a fan of uh, Robert Kiyosaki, the one who wrote the book. So, sabi ni Tyron Sulena, eto yung mga binabas kong book, so, na-intrigue na ako sa kanya, and then, na, na inaisip ko, ano ba kayang ginagawa niya? So, nakita ko na ano siya uh, SEO specialist so sabi niya mas malaki daw yung kita niya kumpara sa business niya so sabi niya pa online lang yun hindi siya umaalis ng bahay say ko sobrang ganda kasi yung kita ng SEO parang sahod na rin yun ng isang third mate or second mate official sa barko mm. kung aabot ka ng let's say 100,000 and above so napakalaking ano yun, um, salary, working at home lang. So sabi ko, I, I want to be that guy. 
I want to be that guy someday. So, yun. Um, una kong, ano, pagbaba ng barko, nag-aral-aral mo naman mga investment, mga ganyan, tapos, tingnan ko kung kaya ko yung freelance. Eh. So, um, unang try, hindi, hindi nag-work out. So, sumakay ulit ako. And then, yung sunod na, ano, na, nababa ako. Sabi ko, uh, since I have, Uh, struggles on English, speaking English to uh, foreigners, cycle. I will try to uh, to be a call center agent muna, pansamantala. So, yun. Um, nag-apply ako hanggang sa nag-apply. Una, hindi ka talaga tatanggapin kasi galing ang protas mag-a-apply ka ng, ano, ng, mm-hmm. ng call center. Tapos, basic salary lang yung ibibigay sa'yo. Sabihin, okay lang ba sa'yo itong salary na to? Baka bumalik ka lang. So, ko, okay lang, okay lang. The, the important thing naman is yung experience. Tapos, yun, um, I landed to uh, companies. So, hi nga, hi nga pala dyan sa, ano, sa mga dati kong katrabaho sa Infosys. Uh, sila yung mga cool guys na uh, mga kabarkada ko. And then, yun, um, after two years, Um, I tried to uh, research it all about freelancing and then uh, I came across YouTube channel of Jason Dulay and he was talking about uh, freelancing and he was uh, sharing uh, his income on YouTube and I was really amazed by it. So I said, ah, I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. And then, yun, nag-perch, na, pumili ako ng, ano, ng course niya, ng PE Bootcamp. So, um, 2018 yun, uh, promo pa nun eh. So, yun, nag na, binili ko, and then, um, inaral ko, and then, I even, uh, enrolled sa Hustle Challenge, and then, um, after that, after ko matapos yung mga task, lahat-lahat, makuntit yung test, And then, nag-apply ako. Hindi talaga ako matanggap eh. Tapos, nung nag-try ako mag-hustle challenge, ano, sy- syempre, ma- ma-push ka gumawa ng mga cover letter, mag-submit ng cover letters daily. So, na-push ako. I think, uh, naging, nag-improve naman ako sa cover letter, mag-send ng cover letter. But then, hindi pa rin ako nakapag-land ng, ano, ng trabaho sa, sa mga, sa online jobs, sa Upwork, sa Hubstop. So, yun sa ko, ano, ano kaya ang kulang sa akin? Uh, I was really frustrated during that time kasi wala talagang tumatanggap sa akin. And then, minsan nakakapasa naman sa first interview. Pero, after the first interview, after the trial test, wala pa rin. So, sa ko, baka call center na lang talaga yung, ano, yung bagay sa akin. So, for... For for quite a few months, parang accepted ko na sarili ko na baka dito na lang talaga ako mag-excel. So, nung nasa call center ako, ang, gin, ang ginawa ko is, minsan nagwa-volunteer ako na gagawa ko ng, ng mga PDF uh, files or documents. Tapos, ano, um, sinisend namin yun sa, ano, sa customers namin kasi uh, naging technical support ako. And then, um, since yung, yung account namin, pioneer pa lang, minsan para na- naisip ko na uh, I think much better na ano na na imbis yung customer i-walk through mo through phone gumawa kayo ng blind troubleshooting imbis gawin mo yon mas maganda na sendan mo siya ng PDF file na may pictures in arrow para masundan niya yung gagawin niya step by step so yun sinabi ko yun sa TL ko and then approve naman nila so gumawa ako ng mga PDF documents na ganun. And then, you know, parang naging siyang standard uh, transaction sa, sa sa account namin. So, yun. And then, dumating din yung time na um, may competition for video editing. And during that time, um, nag-aaral natin ako ng video editing kasi amazed nga ako sa mga YouTuber na kumikita ng malalaki. Sabi ko, mm-hmm. kaya ko din siguro to. Tapos, hindi ako nabuboard pag video editing. Ewan ko ba, pag word, no boring talaga ako, pero pag video ed- editing graphics, parang kahit magdamag pa yan, kaya ko yung gawin. 
parang andun yung passion. So, yun. Habang inaral ko yung ano, Premier Pro, nagkaroon ng competition sa company namin. Tapos ako yung gumawa ng corporate uh, video. And luckily, nanalo yung video na yun na ano, na na ano, na first runner up sa ano, sa competition. Tapos nagkaroon ng award. And then, yun na. Uh, sabi ko, hmm, parang andito talaga yung edge ko. Parang on that point, nahanap ko talaga na eto pala ang gusto ko. Hindi, hindi ko kailangan ipilit yung sarili ko na magaling ako sa website, magaling ako dito sa, sa email marketing, ganyan. Doon pala yung passion ko or doon, doon ako may nice. edge. So, yun. I started offering it sa, ano, sa, sa onlinejobs.ph kasi since na-suspend nga yung, ano, yung Upwork account ko. And then, since isang na video yun, uh, ang ginawa ko, umahanap ako ng mga YouTube tutorials tapos ginagaya ko. Mm-hmm. Pero yung mga footage na gamit nila, iniiba ko. Mm-hmm. Tapos nilalagay ko yun sa portfolio ko. Tapos, nilalagay ko sa Google Drive o kaya ina-upload ko sa YouTube kung walang kaparehas. And then, uh, yun, isa pang ginawa ko is nag-create ako ng, ano, ng libreng website lang kung saan dun ko kinumpile yung mga ginawa kong videos. Tapos, um, yun, yun ang ginagawa kong pang-apply sa mga clients sa online jobs. Tapos, pagka nag-send ng cover le- letter, may lang sagot ko, hey, I can do this and that. You can check my portfolio right here. Tapos sinisend ko sa kanila yung, yung link. So, 75 or 80, 80% of the time, it works. Kasi, nakikita nila na marunong ko mag-edit. Alam nila yung gusto mong i-edit. Tapos, meron kang experience. Kasi... Ano yung website? Oo. Pero, libreng website lang po. Si Strikingly. Yes, yes. It's still a website. And then... Well... Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, you can see that on my uh, on the PDF file that uh, I'll, I mean we'll be going to send out to you to you later on. So yun. Uh, going back then sa ano sa pag-apply ko. So marami nag approach sa akin na hey can you edit this video for me? Kanyan ganyan may may mga nagkapa trial task. So during those time then hindi ko alam kung paano mag-approach ng mga interview, ganyan, ganito. Minsan may magpapagawa ng trial task, tas di ka babayaran. So, hmm. gagawin mo talaga, lalagyan mo ng, ano, ng watermark o kaya short video lang, like 30 seconds para sa kanila para hmm. kita lang na kaya mong i-edit yung, ano, yung, yung style na gusto nila. So, yun. I landed, ah, uh, one job and it was an agency in uh, in US and yeah unang unang buwan maganda naman yung ano yung yung sahod sa unang buwan <laughs> tapos uh, sumunod na buwan medyo humina na kasi uh, ang nangyari that time is marami na kaming video editor nagdadagdag pa sila and then uh, yung agency na yon nakikipag nakikipag deal sa mga YouTube channels or mga owner ng YouTube channels tapos so sila it's yun a yun. video editing agency mm. uh, okay okay I and then it. and then yun since ano video editing agency sila tapos wala pa silang system dun dun kami nagkaroon ng ano ng problem kasi let's say etong isang YouTube channel na to pina edit sa akin and then, yung sunod na video, ipapa-edit sa iba. Ang mangyayari, yung intro nito or yung mga lower thirds or mga ginagamit niyang loots, mga, mga editing style, iba sa gagawin nitong yes, pangalawang video editor. So, natatagal lang kami sa turnaround, mga gano'n. And then, um, yung, ano, yung, yung, ano, yung may-ari, lumipat na ibang ano ibang lugar sa US. So parang yung second month ko, parang wala na kami naririnig sa kanya. Pinapalo up namin ang tagal niya sumagot. So, yun ay si pang mag-apply ulit sa ibang ano, company. 
and then you know i landed um i landed a a client sa sa us then and then this time coach naman siya babae so uh, na so direct na ano direct na na siya na mismo yung client mo mismo ang nagpapagawa ng ng video hindi to company hindi to agency oh siya na mismo kaya ang kinagandahan doon pag direct client ka kasi uh, as a video editor pag nakuha mo na yung timpla ng style na gusto niya ang gagawin mo lang i-apply mo na lang siya doon parang gagawa ka ng mga templates mo exactly Tapos apply mo na lang siya sa video after cutting the video and then you can create the, the intro outro mga lower thirds mm-hmm. as apply apply na lang so within let's say 12 hours or less than that you can uh, submit the video to the uh, i mean to the client and then ang maganda pa doon is uh si client since ano siya uh, coach siya marami siyang mga social media accounts ako ang pinapag-manage niya so yes. Yun. Di naman ako magaling sa, ano, sa, sa social media marketing. But then, may knowledge ako since, since uh, naging ano, ako, October um, uh, I mean, moderator sa Flip. So, naging ano din yun daan para makuha ko or maklose ko si client. And then, isa pa, uh, bago pala yun, um, kikwento ko kung paano ko siya naging client. So, may two job posts siya sa, ano, sa online jobs. Una, naghahanap siya ng tagagawa ng, ng PDF. PDF, mga, mga flowchart ng transactions, ito document yung process. Tapos, yung pangalawa niyang job post, naghahanap siya ng video editor. So, parehas ko yung inapplyan kasi nakita ko yung pangalan niya dun sa online jobs. So, nung inapplyan ko yun, parang sumakto sa ano sa experience ko. So, yung mga ano, luckily yung mga ginagawa ko sa company ko dati, ng call center pa ako. Yung mga PDF files, nagamit ko yun. Dinownload ko yung kulit dun sa sa ano sa sa uh, sa sa drive namin. Dinownload ko ulit and then sinend ko kay client na, "Hey, I can do this and that." And then dun sa trial video na pinagawa niya sa Pinapedit niya lang ako ng video. Ang ginawa ko, tinagdagan ko pa ng thumbnail. YouTube hmm. thumbnail. Gumawa ako ng dalawa. Pinapili ko siya. Tasay ko sa kanya. Yeah. Tasay ko pa sa kanya. Hey, I can also optimize your uh, your YouTube uh, channel. And uh, we can talk about branding and how we can approach some of your uh, social media accounts. Parang, in-offer ko sa kanya yung package. Kasi yun ang nakita ko sa ano sa sa freelancers ta sa sa Fiverr. Ino-offer nila mga package deals na ano na services. Yes, yes. Sa freelancing. Oh. Tapos marami ka ding matututunan din sa ano sa Fiverr in free, freelancers kasi uh, pag search mo ang common skills, ando na yung mga ano, ando na yung mga mga freelancers na nag-offer ng kanilang services and you will know exactly kung paano nila pinipresent yung sarili nila. Tama. So, doon ko nakuha yung idea na hmm, kahit di man ako magaling sa kung, kahit uh, wala man ako nito sa wala akong account sa freelancers or Fiverr, I should create a website kung saan doon ko maipipresent yung sarili ko ng mas malinis okay. at mas maayos. So, yun. Sa online jobs, uh, sa online jobs pag nag apply ako, ang ginagawa ko, very short lang na, ano, na cover letter. Sinasabi ko, hey, I can do that. Uh, I saw your job and I can do the job. And then send ko yung link ng profile ko, ng, yung, ano, yung link ng, ano ko, ng LinkedIn ko kasi din na-develop ko din yun. So, yun. Um, 80% of the time, magre-reply sila. And then, magka-follow up sila sa'yo. So, yeah. doon ako nag- uh, Well, secrets revealed. And then, nasabi ni Chris ang ano, kung how to land jobs quicker. <laughs> 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 Gumawa ka ng website mo, no matter what, kahit na 
kahit na hindi yung bayad yung maraming sponsors it's okay they don't mind what matters is as long as hindi annoying yung mga advertisements doon sa website mo what matters is you get a website that's very very important it's more impressive than a calling card di ba mga business people pag ano naglalakad sila may may inaabot silang business card nila and sometimes we we tend to ignore that but in other countries like japan for example that means a, f- a heck of a lot uh, having a business card means a lot it's the same in in freelancing in freelancing if you have a website some people they might they might ignore it but it makes a huge impact to a lot of people because in there you don't need to explain eh karamihan na ng ayo ng clients yung masyadong mahabang sinasabi mo masyadong marami kang sinasabi kailangan meron kang maipakita kung empty yung portfolio mo kahit na 10 pages pa yung cover letter mo hindi nila papansinin yan but if eh, you do it like chris na maiksi lang maiksi lang ang ano mo ang cover letter mo and then just show them what you can do by using your portfolio or a uh, more importantly a website doon nila makikita kung ano ang gilas mo and at least ano uh, uh clients will respond better if you if you do that because you're it comes to show that you are professional you you are well experienced and you know what you're doing yun ang ah ginagawa mo yan that's exactly what i do anyway <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry for interrupting, but please go on. Maganda ang kwento mo. I love it. Okay, so, yun na nga. So, um, even though uh, na-try ko na din gumawa ng sarili kong website, sarili kong, uh, uh, kumbaga, yeah, sarili kong website, and then I was developing a YouTube channel as well. And then, um, doon ko pinapractice yung mga, mga natutunan ko. And then, mga three. sa YouTube, actually, pwede ka gumawa ng, ano, ng parang uh, freelance profile mo na din kung more on graphics ka or video editing ka. Maganda ang YouTube. Yes, yes. And then, if you are into graphics naman, uh, what you can do is you can, um, you can try to uh, post your graphics to Pinterest or Instagram that will really attract uh, some some of the clients and you can send the link uh, together with um, in the application that you have to to your clients so yun balik tayo din sa client ko kasi maganda nga yung maganda yung client ko <laughs> so yun hindi ako marunong sa newsletter hindi ako hindi ako marunong sa LinkedIn actually and then medyo all the experience also in the social media ma- management pero konti lang pero the good thing is since coach nga siya um may mga courses siyang binibigay sa akin na oy aralin mo to and then later on apply this to my uh Facebook account to my LinkedIn uh, account so parang ganun yung way namin and then so yun habang nagtatrabaho ka bayad ka and then at the same time, natututo ka. Hmm. And then, yeah, siguro, uh, ano pa ba mga, ano, siguro ang pinaka-challenge ko talaga, and pinaka, uh, yung pinaka-rock bottom talaga na na-hit ko is, yung be- very depressed ako na, di ko alam kung saan ako mag a sa sa profile ko. Ano nga ba talaga ang kulang, ganito, ganyan. Uh, yeah. The times then, nung, naga apply ka walang tumatanggap sa iyo right oh how does that feel how did that feel it was really depressing i feel ko parang say ko kaya ko naman yung ginagawa nila simple lang naman magpo-post ng ganito gagawa ng ganyan say ko kaya ko naman pero bakit di ako natatanggap tapos um i try to uh, research kung paano nga talaga nila i-present yung mga expert na freelancers na. Chine-check yung mga portfolio nila sa Upwork, sa Fiverr or Freelance, tas chine-check ko na, oh, ang ganda ng ano, ng parang ng positioning niya, ng pagka-present niya ng profile, ang ganda. So, ginagaya ko yun. Mm-hmm. Tapos, um, yun. So far ngayon, 
uh, I'm still trying to I mean, study the tools and study uh, all the skills necessary uh, para makakuha ulit ng another client. <laughs> bali, oh, uh, bali, dalawa pala yung client ko. One is uh, social media uh, customer service for e-commerce and the other one is uh, uh, yung coach na uh, social media uh, management ang task ko. Ah, that's that's really nice. Ang maganda diyan is nag nagpursue ka pa rin kahit na kahit na ano na uh, what do you call this? It, uh, the things that you did didn't work. Tell us more about your experience in VA bootcamp. May may mga nag-assist ba sa iyo nung ano nang nag nakihasal challenge ka and yet you didn't uh, land a job? Ah, uh, opo. Oh, um, very hands-on naman po sila, Miss Anna, si Miss Holly during that time. Uh, very hands-on sila. Ang, ang, pro, ang problema lang kasi uh, during that time. Um, nung pumasok ako sa hassle challenge, um, actually, na-meet ko yung client ko na, ano, na social media chat support. Pero ano lang siya, part-time lang siya, Saturday, Sunday lang siya. Meron na, meron na ako isang client noon bago ako pumasok sa ano. Um, pero kulang talaga eh. <laughs> kulang pa rin talaga eh. What was Tapos, it? What was it that was missing sa pananaw mo? I think uh skills and the way how you present yourself. Tapos yung task, although nagawa ko na yung mga task na binibigay sa BA bootcamp. Although nagawa mo na, parang you must pa ano, dapat mag-level up ka pa eh. Kailangan pa i-check na paano mo pa ito ipipresent ng mas maayos, ng mas maganda. So I think that's uh, those are the things that uh, was missing in my applications and on my cover letters. Yung mga sample na mga test doon, yung mga graphics, yung mga social media management na ginawa mo, parang you need to excel more effort. Excel, I mean, put uh, insert more creativity in that um, task para makakuha ka talaga ng client. And during that time, uh, I was also working as a call center and then uh, social media chat support um, na sa isang client for e-commerce. At least, ano, uh, you still grew. Nag, Nag-pursue ka pa rin. Even during the times of your depression, dahil yun nga, uh, talagang normal naman yung ganyan eh, yung disappointed ka na even if you've given your all, you think you've given your all sa pag apply mo sa, ano, sa Upwork or other platforms, pero hindi ka pa rin nakakaland ng job. Parang nakaka-depress talaga and it makes you want to quit. Uh, buti na lang... Na, and and you, even you yourself said that you entertained the thought na baka hindi ako para sa freelancer, baka dito ako sa, sa call center. How do you feel now? Um, uh, feeling ko na there's really a lot of things that you can learn and there's really a lot of potential sa freelancing world. Kasi... Pag nakakuha ka ng isang, uh, ng isang trabaho, pwede ka pang makakuha ng isang ano, part-time job, full-time job, depending de- depende sa ano, sa positioning mo or sa sa delivery ng interview mo sa sa clients or sa sa agency na kakausap. Hmm. So kung kung ako tatanungin uh, sa pagsisiman kung para sa freelancing, uh, pwede mong kitain yung mga yung kinikita mo as a seaman dito sa freelancing. Kaya mm-hmm. kaya. And there's uh katulad ng sabi mo, there's actually too much work pag ano eh, pag nasa abroad ka eh, eh, even as a seaman, lalo na sa seaman, <laughs> it's laborious, <laughs> laborious oh. ang ano, ang trabahong ano, seaman. It's not it's not simple. How about you talk to us about this uh overworked part? Where in your life were you overworked and bullied? Ah, okay. So, way back, um, way back, uh, 2012, nung Seaman pa ako. Um, since baguhan nga ako ng Seaman, hindi ko pa alam masyado yung mga kultura sa parko. Uh, ganito pala, ganyan pala. So, yun. Um, 
nung kadete ako, actually yung yung kadet, uh, you only signed up na ang kontrata mo dun para matuto, para gumawa ng parang mga paperwork. But then, pag nasa bato ka na, iba na yung trabaho. <laughs> Ando na yung, ano, hindi talaga yung pir- pinirmahan mo. Kumbaga kung nagtitik-tik sila ng kalawang, magtitik-tik ka din ng kalawang. And then, um, yeah, may mga may mga emergencies. Tulad nung nasa Australia kami, parang malapit na lumumbog yung barko kasi pinapasok na kami ang tubig. So, kailangan mo gumising and then oh limasin yung mga tubig doon. Kaya sa barko, ang importante, yung kargamento, may deliver mo uh, right on time. On the right date, uh-huh. on the right time. So, minsan, tinatansya ng mga kapitan na kaya naman, kaya naman sagupain yung, ba, yung bagyo, yun, dinadaanan na lang namin or sinasagupan na lang namin. So, andyan talaga yung mga times na um, kahit di oras ng trabaho mo, kailangan mo magtrabaho kasi kailangan makasurvive. Yeah. Para, you're as good as, ano eh, you're as good as stay in. Right? So, they can just call you anytime. Kasi, nandun ka, yun na ang bahay mo eh, doon sa barko na mismo ang bahay mo. So, at any time, talagang, kung may aberya, kailangan magising ka kahit na 30 minutos lang ang tulog, tulog mo. You mentioned something about uh, yung mga hindi ka pa initiated, well initiated nung pagpasok mo sa barko. Could you tell us some examples of that? Ano ba ang mga dapat palang malaman pag magiging ano, seaman ka? <laughs> Eh, medyo mahirap to. Parang, ano. Um, <laughs> ano yeah, unang-una ano yung... Ano ba tayo? Nasa, nasa no-tell ba tayo? Na, are we getting to that boundary where you were sworn not to tell anybody <laughs> about what happened in the, ano? What happens in the in the ship, stays in the ship? Ganun ba yun? Parang ganun. Pero, ano, just to give you some idea, yung mga planong mag, uh, mag-parko dyan. Ano? Um, oh, maganda yung profession. Maganda yung profession ng barko kasi uh, yung pagbabarko kasi you, you get to uh, experience the world uh, for free. Pero mm. that saying is not really true. It depends on the, uh, the the ship. It depends on the company. Kasi let's say kung um, container vessel yung nasakyan mo. Minsan, six hours lang, seven hours lang yan sa, sa, sa port. Hindi ka na makakalabas. <laughs> Di mo may enjoy yung ano yung uh, yung bansa yung bansa yeah. na pupuntahan mo para ano and then na, magpicture ka na lang para lang masabi na nakarating ka doon <laughs> <laughs> oh and then um yeah pag uh, pag nagbarko ka talaga kailangan malakas ang loob mo tapangan mo talaga ang sarili mo kasi there are ano um may mga may mga tinatawag na barrio-barrio. Kumbaga, kung taga taga dito sila sa isang lugar, kakalapit na na lugar, tapos ikaw taga uh, taga say, taga sila taga, taga Southern Luzon or Bisaya sila lahat. Tapos ikaw taga Northern Luzon isa ka lang. Parang you will get to be uh, bullied sometimes. Parang parang ganoon. Hmm. And then, Paano pa yeah. Mabili? Um, during that time, kasi uh, nung kadetya ako, uh, meron ako ng katrabaho. Hindi ko na lang imimension yung ah uh, yung name. Um, yeah. uh, overwork talaga ako sa kanya. Kahit tapos na yung ano yung yung trabaho namin, uutos sa kapanak ni to ganyan. Gawin mo to ganyan. Tapos, sure, pag uh, ano pag hindi mo yung ginawa. Isusumbok ka sa ano sa higher ranking official na ganito yan ganito hindi ka trabaho ganito. Pero yung yung basta yung under yung na under ang ka parang ano lang simple na trabaho, walang ginagawa ganyan. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, overwork um overwork and I was really bullied uh, at that time and yeah, sabi ko sa sarili ko um I will find a way to really uh find another job that will uh, that will that will I mean have a salary uh, na dolyar pero hindi ganito kariski yung yung buhay tas hindi ganito kalungkot yeah uh, you did something that I didn't 
nung panahon ko naman nung ako tong nasa abroad. Kasi I think uh, I, I can relate to your situation as a seaman dahil sa, sa trabaho din namin sa, ano, sa factory. May politics din eh. Ganyan din eh. Yung pag under, marami kang amo. Kaya I, 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 I sympathize to these people working on, on corporate like BPO. Kasi ang daming ang amo. Yung akala mo yung iisang boss mo lang na nagpapasahod sa'yo ang, ang boss mo. Pero you know, the second official, the third official, to the point na kapwa Pilipino pa pero porket siya na ang pinakabatagal doon, nag-aamo-amuhan na. Kumari <laughs> official. Yung, yung, yung mga ganun. And, and I went through the same process na medyo inuutos-utusan din ako nun. Pero uh, what, what I did, which you didn't do, ikaw, ang ginawa mo is to you you looked for a different place na makaka, makakasahod ka pa rin, pero wala itong mga pambubuli na ito and wala yung mga risks and walang loneliness. Me, on the other hand, parang nakisakay na ako. I played with the politics myself na Uh, inantay ko lang yung tamang-tamang timing para magpasipsip din. Makipaglabanan sa ano sa pasipsipan. <laughs> That is the problem with with other jobs eh. Matututo ka talagang you really have to fight their fight their own way kahit na ayaw mo. It's either that or you get out and and look for another job which is at that time parang nakaka para sa akin nakakatakot. I don't want to lose my that job of my I didn't want to lose that job. So, nagipag ano na rin ako, nagipag uh, politics na rin ako, nagipaglabanan din ako sa pasipsipan nung time na yon. And I think if I were to in hindsight, now that I've learned about freelancing, should I have known siguro ginaya kita siguro na ano na basta umalis na lang and try to discover uh, other avenues rather than uh kasi masakit sa puso, if, if, if you're not the kind of person who is mahilig makipagsipsipan, masakit sa puso na sinisiraan mo yung, ano, yung kapwa mo eh. It actually hurts. Pero you really have to do, to do it to survive. Eh, kung sa barko, ganyan din. Dahil kayo-kayo rin lang ang mga nandun. I'm sure naglalabanan din kayo ng kung sino ang mas mataas ng ranggo sa inyo. Kahit na pare-pareho kayo ng ranggo dapat. That is... Yeah, now now I understand the the bullying part that you mentioned. And I I'm I'm so sorry that you had to go through that, but I am also glad that you went through that phase in your life because if it wasn't for that, you wouldn't have searched for a different life, which is what you're doing right now. So yeah, thank you very much for discovering Jason's ano, YouTube channel, YouTube video, <laughs> and doing the VA Bootcamp. Ang ganda nga kasi, ano, eh, uh, it's not a straight success for you. It wasn't a straight success for you. Kasi karamihan ng mga na-interview dito, the time they discovered VA Bootcamp, uh, and then they followed instructions, tapos nakipag-hustle sila, and then they succeeded, and now they are, whoa, big timers. Hindi, ikaw, ano, eh, nag, nag, nag-up and down ka rin eh. So it's nice because you even w- uh, dealt with uh, the episode of yung hindi mo alam kung oh, if, if freelancing was for you, you were doubting that. If that you thought pang sa call center ka na lang ata magsha-shine. And I love that. Kasi and not everything that we offer in VA Bootcamp is a, a, a 100% assurance that you will, you know, succeed in life. We we want you to We want every student to succeed. We definitely do. Dahil masakit sa amin na na if uh, should I have seen you, Chris, during your ano during your times, maybe uh, parang masakit sa akin na ano that, that you are doing your best and you are giving your all and yet you're not landing jobs. But mo but mo kasi hindi ako nilapitan. <laughs> parang ano? Eh, parang parang sobrang taas ng level eh. <laughs> taas na iya pa. You. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. It's your shyness. I think if I was there, if I if I have seen you, I think uh, I would have suggested you to change your approach. Kasi sabi mo, naipapasa mo naman, pero pag once na nasa, nasa interview part, nasa uh, skills part, y- yung mga yon na, ay, dun ka medyo, medyo hindi, na tu- hindi na natutuloy ang ano, ang ang employment mo doon at that part. So I think the VA Bootcamp has done its job for you to put your feet in front of the door. Pero ang kailangan doon is the next step, which is yung to uphold yourself and present yourself and convince the client that you are a very, uh, you are trustworthy, that you are that they can trust you with their money. I think it is that part that you needed to enhance during that time. So yeah, uh, 
Do work on yeah. that. Kasi hangga, nahihiya ka pa rin hanggang ngayon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nay. Sobrang may hiya yung talaga sa personal. Anyway, um, isa pa sa nakatulong siguro sa akin. Kasi, um, yung mga nanonood dito, alam ko, yung yung iba dyan, nakasama ko na din sa pangalawa kong hassle challenge. Yung pangalawa kong hassle challenge, doon ako parang nag-excel ng maigi. So, doon ko oh, talaga man. sa sinabi na Um, gagawin ko ang lahat para makapagulan ako ng, ano, ng, ng trabaho. Tapos, yun na talaga yung uh, point of no return sa akin. Eh. Kasi, um, nag, uh, nag-quit na ako sa call center. Nag, ano ako, sabi ko, um, I want to uh, look for a full-time client na. Sabi ko, whatever happens, di ako babalik sa call center hanggang hindi ako nakapagulan na, na, ng client. Tapos, gagawin ko ang lahat. And then, um, since mahiyain ako sa, sa, ano, sa, sa harap ng camera, sa, ma, sa webinar tulad nito, um, ang ginagawa ko is, bago yung interview, um, nag, uh, nag-record ako ng sarili ko, tapos in-upload ko sa YouTube, naka-private lang, tapos chinecheck ko ko yung mga, uh, mga areas na kailangan ko pa aim. And then, Yeah, yung isa kong video, ginawa ko parang presentation all about me and then I put it on my website as uh, introduction, parang landing page. Kung baga, pag mm-hmm. clinic ni client to, mapupunta siya sa video ko, ay sa website ko na may video na wini-welcome ko siya. Tapos g- mm-hmm. kinikwento ko yung sarili ko, eto yung mga skills ko. And then at the bottom, they can see the skills that I have, yung mga, yung mga skills na pwede kong i-offer uh, for their business. So, yeah. <laughs> I like that. I like that. That is a a good approach. Kasi pati, pati rin ako, I would I would definitely suggest that na aside from aside from the videos, sample videos that you can sh- that you can show to your clients, you have to make it personable para para naman makilala kanila. It always it's always a good addition to be personable and to be friendly na you you know, the client will say, "Oh, I like this guy." Hindi lang yung I like his skills. You have to attract the attention of your client. Kasi pag once na hindi kanya gusto, hindi niya titignan yung ano mo, yung kung ano man ang represent mo. If you are unlikable, so yeah, I, th- I I would have suggested that as well. Very good, Chris. I think ang kagandahan sa yung is you are working instinctively, and most of the things that you that you are doing are correct. But uh, almost everything that you that you have done is correct because even if you went to call center, parang ano eh, you have your reasons. Money is one of them, and yung sabi mo na you wanted to exercise your English skills. At least to own, mara ma, talagang ma, masasana ka kasi mapipilitan kang mag English at ang daming nakabantay sa yon, ang daming magkokorek sa yon on the spot. Yon ang kagandahan doon. Uh, unlike dito sa ano dito sa you know if you try to improve your skills online medyo matagal ang process kasi you're gonna do something and then people will check it later unlike sa BPO sa call center nandiyan na ang mga nakabantay sa yon na ano mga tigreng nguyuyain ka kapag nagkamali ka sa business mo so yeah, yeah kudos to to you to for thinking like that tapos uh, i like that you did not quit the next second hustle challenge ka i thought you've given you've given hustle challenge uh, a chance and you know it didn't work out as much as you wanted to but you tried for the second hustle challenge and that's very good buti na lang at ano at tinuloy mo and I, i think ladies and gentlemen if you're listening you should take uh, chris as an example for you know perseverance kasi he Uh, tinanggap niya yung mga disappointments but he still went on with that parang ang attitude ni Chris is okay so nandito ang problema what is the solution hindi hindi yung iniinda niya na ah sakit ng ano ng ang sama ng buhay ko yung mga, yung mga ganun hindi siya nag self pity instead he went on and trudged on and tried to look for solutions for his problems so i uh, You should take note of that, ladies and gentlemen. Lalo na kayo mga hindi nag-i-struggle pa. Like I said, many of us have experienced what you are experiencing right now. And Chris is one of them. So please do take note of that. So we talked about 
a couple a couple of things with Chris his history yung pagbubuli and being overworked as well and regardless na ano na meron siyang mga experiences sa ano so sa seafaring if as he said para sa inyo kung gusto ninyong i-try why don't you try it pero at least Chris already gave you a an insight of what you should expect in seafaring and besides uh, seafaring you can still i think you you still have access to the internet so you can still learn how to be a freelancer or or do freelancing yourself whatever your choice may be just try to include freelancing um next we are going to answer a couple of questions here from the audiences but beforehand i would like to okay etong hindi ko na ihanda okay share screen i would like to talk uh chris uh take a break <laughs> Take a break. <laughs> okay. I would like to uh, share a bit of reminders here. Ito medyo mahirap dahil hindi ako nag nagpractice nito. Eh. Just use this. Okay. May mga sale po tayo from December 13 to 31. Um, uh, okay. Accelerated. Okay. There you go. Ito. Na- nakahanda pala yan. Um, ang sabi ni ano? Ang sabi ni Ana is... Let's get rid of that. Ang sabi ni Ana is... There, yung accelerated na dating 7990, 5990 na ngayon until December 31. Okay. Next is the complete course, which is 19990, uh, 14990 na ngayon until December 31. And last one is then yung mga annual subscription dati na accelerated, pwede na mag-upgrade to complete course for... 8990 instead of 12k there i think um I, yeah i think you know now now uh just uh just remember to to take note of these uh promo codes uh year end a uh, for accelerated so yan ang keyword accelerated is year end a year end c for complete and year end upgrade if you are if you are a student who just wants to upgrade All right understood i hope i did well sana po naintindihan niyo dahil pagagalitan ako ni ano ni ano pag hindi niyo to naintindihan <laughs> and uh what's next where's that okay wow ang dami kong palpak there you go um facebook flip Si ano si Chris active siyang nagpo-post dito sa ano dito sa group natin sa Flip. So if you happen to be um, interested in video editing, well, kayo mga nag-eensayo pa lang, kayo mga kahit na may clients na kayo, check out his posts here on our group sa Flip and also share it to your friends para naman maintindi nila kung anong ginag- pinaggagawan natin. Kasi pag minsan akala nila nagkakamtukam lang tayo eh. So just share this group to everybody whom you know who might be interested and for sure they will take a glance at what Chris have been posting and others as well. And yun nga, sabi naman ni Chris naging moderator siya sa, sa group natin yeah. during that time. When was that? Yeah, October. October. I think that a lot of us have enjoyed his company while he was doing his job in our group. And last but not the least, we got Pinay Wams. This is another baby of Anna. So, ito po, dedicated po sa inyong mga nanays who are freelancers. If you ever feel lonely, if you want to share something, if you want to find tips and tricks as moms, or you just want to talk to people who are related to your situation right now, just go ahead and join uh, Pinay Wams which is a group on Facebook. All right. Thank you for watching. I really, really hope that I did well in this. Kasi ito na ang last na, ano, na episode ng nitong taon na ito. Don't worry. Ladies and gentlemen, magpa-practice ako. I, will, I am going to uh, do something para ma-improve ko ang ano, um, pag-advertise ko. But anyway, <laughs> balik tayo kay Chris. Balik tayo kay Chris. Uh, Yeah, uh, could you tell us briefly about your experience on um, being a moderator? How did you become a moderator in our group and how was the experience? Um, actually, it was really great kasi um, may mga bagay na akala mo kaya mo gawin, alam mo na. Pero pag nandun ka na as a moderator, dun ka mamumulat sa tunay na ginagawa talaga ng ano, social media moderators sa Facebook. 
like scheduling task na akala mo sa hoot suite lang to ginagawa sa buffer lang to ginagawa meron din pala sa ano sa 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 Facebook na built in siya na pwede ka na mag-schedule ng post and then not just that you need to filter some messages na mga members mga ganun so nakatulong yun sa akin sa pag-apply ko sa mga ano sa mga uh, sa sa client ko ngayon kasi meron siyang ano uh, Facebook na dalawa na ako ang nagmamanage ako ang nag uh, moderate and then uh, uh, this December I was actually uh, I became an admin sa group na yun so nice. it is uh, a great uh, state uh, stepping stone para sa mga wala pang experiences diyan so mag-apply kayo as a moderator and it will give you a lot of experience on how to uh, do this and that and it will be your stepping stone as a social media manager or a marketer yeah 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 i definitely agree kasi um this is something that they they intended uh, sila jason and tana intention talaga nila to give people a chance to, to have an experience para naman ano para naman ma yung hindi lang yung kakapakapaka kasi kapag just because you graduated from from VA bootcamp doesn't mean that you know everything you still need experience para naman ano uh, hindi ka yung nalilito na lang kapag ano pag all of a sudden may requirement si client na ganito ganito rin na na surprise ka na lang <laughs> so being a moderator actually and flip helps you a lot i agree with you chris okay so here's mitch saying my husband used to work for a japanese shipping line tanker wood chips lng whatever that means what's lng chris do you know what lng is um liquefied something or a neutral gas it it carries uh i mean uh liquefied uh gas na uh for gas so, mga fuel mga ganyan so it's uh, riskier to say it's yeah it's dangerous it's dangerous yes. i'm in constant fear for his health and safety he's now curious about what i do now ano masasabi mo kay uh ano masasabi mo chris kay, kay mitch is would would there be something that she should say to her husband uh when it comes to you know seafaring versus freelancing Um, kung bata pa naman yung husband niya, the the earlier the better kung magka-transition siya sa freelancing. Mm. Kasi ano, um, the, the more na uh, nag-stay ka sa pagbabar ko, the more na ma-acquire mo yung skills, my experiences, parang mahirap na siya pitawan uh, in the long run. Kasi ando na halos yung buhay mo, ando na naka-adapt yung mga habits mo, yung mga, yung kasanayan mo, parang ando na. Na. So, um, isa, isa yun sa, sa rason kung bakit nag-quit ako in just uh, two years of uh, being a seafarer. Kasi, sabi nga ni Robert Kiyosaki, uh, while you are young, uh, work to learn, not to earn. Kailangan mo um, hanapin talaga yung para sa'yo. Tapos, yan din ang sabi ni Jack Ma, na hanapin mo talaga... Habang bata ka pa na nasa 20s ka pa, hanapin mo talaga yung trabaho na para sa iyo. Tapos pag nasa 30s ka na, dun mo ipurso yung pinaka gusto mo. Na hindi mo talaga pagsisisihan in the long run. So, yun sa mga nagsisiman, I think um, kasi karamihan ngayon, especially yung mga nakakapagland ng job sa company, they are really um, skillful and matatalino sila. Nagigita ko. So kayang-kaya nila yung freelancing. Kung ako nang na kaya ko, kaya nila. Wow, I like know that. I like that. Kasi oo, oh, oh, dahil maraming mga ano eh, mga nagtataka kung anong magagawa nila sa freelancing. To some people who are not aware of what freelancing is, nagtataka sila na ay I am this. I am an engineer. Pasado ba ako dyan? Hindi nyo lang alam. Being an engineer is already a big thing. Or I am a seafarer. I'm, ano lang ako, tiga, tiga balat ako ng patatas sa, ano, sa barko. You don't know na, na marami ka nang magagawa sa, sa freelancing actually due with your experiences, the things that you have been through as a seafarer. There's also 
a curious question here. Um, sabi ni Kathleen, I edit videos also for fun lang. Di ko pa kasi kayang mag-purchase ng mga premium editing software. I think um, Chris has a gift for you. Para sa ano? Para it, uh, I think you will be you will be interested with Chris's giveaway today. So just uh, share this video again and put shared on the comment section down below. Automatically, uh, may sisend sa yung ano ang um, giveaway ni Chris, which is really really nice. And okay, uh, um, yeah, yeah. Yung... yeah, on the uh, PDF file, uh, ando na lahat yung secrets. Kung namo problema ka ngayon sa software, masasagot niya din sa PDF file. It's like I love that. Uh, yeah, it's like a knowledge pump na uh, kinumpile ko tapos nilagay ko sa PDF file na yung mga kahit wala pang experience, you can start doing your videos right now. Uh, and then you can find out the the tactics that I've used and the uh, the source of softwares, uh, the website and the, the trainings, all of the videos the the YouTube playlist that you need to learn uh, about this uh, software uh, Premiere Pro and After Effects I compiled that already so that you can actually just uh, click the link then visit that uh, I mean playlist of tutorials to YouTube <laughs> okay so yeah I love that buti naman may nandyan ka na ano nagilawa mo yan because that is something that I think me as a personally as a video editor para pinaghirapan ko itong mga knowledge ito para hindi ko kayang i-compound sa isang maliit na ano na PDF para i i to release it to public because the overthinker ako eh yung you know if I if I want to explain something it might take me pages and pages and pages just to explain a very very simple thing so kudos to you, Chris for for compounding these information into just a small uh, uh, PDF and I bet that a lot of people would be interested alam nyo kayo ladies and gentlemen you, you I I I suggest that you take this because even if you are not interested in video editing right now right now you don't know if you will be needing the information in the future yung kahit na hindi ikaw itong mag edit kung if you will need somebody to edit a video for example at least hindi kayong ignorant ng client if you become a client at least you know you definitely know what's going on so please take this and at the same time malemo if uh, if you want to give it as a gift to somebody then go ahead and and give it it is a good uh, source of information mm -hmm. Josie here said uh, nako nako malaking ano yan nakaps na kay nako <laughs> my husband wants to work sa barko. My, po uh, my politics din pala sa barko. Kahit saan talaga. Yes. Yes. Apparently, oh, yeah, apparently, sa kwento nga ni Chris, may politics pa rin sa ano. May politics pa rin kahit saan ka magtatrabaho. <laughs> Ultimo barko. And uh, um, unfortunately, yun nga ang ano. Sa freelancing, I think, wala eh. Wala sa freelancing. Even, oh. even if you are in a team, Wala kasi diretsong yung client mismo ang kakausapin mo. You don't have to go through hoops and and whatnot para lang, para lang ano, you know, magiging malakas ka. And if you want to ask for a for a salary increase, you have to speak directly yes. to your client. Hindi ka makikidaan na, pwede pakiusap si boss. Hindi, wala ka nang kakausapin ng gano'n. Oh. <laughs> but in a sense, kailangan mo rin kapalan ang mukha mo because kung mahihain ka, Kung mahihaan ka, mahihain ka, it's good kapag meron kang makakausap na pwedeng pakisabi ng kay boss o. Oh. Siyempre, that is good for you. But if you are in freelancing, you have to talk to them directly. So you really have to you know, exercise that part of you na makikiusap ka directly na boss. Pahingi ng ano, ng increase ngayon, <laughs> December na po. You have to be that person. All right. Uh, here's a nice comment here from Amelita to you. We know Christian as a resourceful, creative, and generous person. Thank you for the tips once again. There you go. <laughs> yeah, kasama ko yun sa, ano, sa, um, sa October uh, moderators. And yeah, regarding pala sa, ano, sa, sa pagbabar ko kumpara sa freelancing. Sa freelancing kasi within three months, pwede kang increase ng client. Eh. As long as you do mm. the job right. Kasi ako, um, I experienced that myself. Kasi yung client ko, 
di pa nga ako nag, ano, kakatapos ko lang ng one month, sasabihin na ng client, oh wow, that's great, and we can talk about the salary increase the next month, the other month, ganun. <laughs> ganun ka, kagalante, lana, kagalante yung mga direct clients sa America. Yes, yes. If they like you, as long as satisfied sila sa ginagawa mo, and yun nga, yung, you're a personable person. Ano sila, yung mayayanggan nyo silang magbigay ng extra. So yeah, do not be do not be afraid of uh, you know yung yung salary mo, because eventually it will grow anyway. So just be patient and do your do your best and impress your client as much as possible. Dahil at least direct yung pumupunta sa kanila. Hindi katulad ng sa barko na you have to ano you have to impress your uh, second ranking officer first before na ano sila na ang bahalang magsusumbong sa officer din nila and then yung officer nila ang bahalang mag, mag makikiusap sa kapitan ganon ang <laughs> ganon ang buhay doon and yung nga katulad nga nang na-mention na everywhere you go there is politics at least except freelancing that is one big advantage kung hindi man yung iba ang gusto ang napag-interesan ninyo at least you will uh, I hope that you will get, be interested in freelancing just because there is no politics going around in freelancing there you go okay Chris uh Greet whomever you want to greet. We are already at the time, closing time. So, yeah. Do you want to greet anybody? Okay. Hi po sa, sa misis ko sa Camarines Norte, uh, Dominica Pantoa. And then sa family ko sa Bicol, I know wala pa kayong kuryente dyan. Uh, tapos internet, pero hopefully mapanood nyo. <laughs> tapos sa mga former uh, workmates ko sa Infosys. Yeah, hello sa inyo, sa inyo guys. All right. There you go. So, Ladies and gentlemen, again, we uh, we spent an hour, a little bit over an hour, with Christian Mamansag, talking about his life and his success. Success. Nasa success na siya ngayon. Nasa success level na siya ngayon. And that is the reason why he is sharing his story, because I, we are hoping that it would resonate to, uh, to all of you, everybody. And we hope that we will be able to help you in even the smallest ways that that is possible to everybody who is struggling within this year wag na wag po tayong umasa for next year wag po tayong i wish yeah. that we don't we don't do the ay sana next year ano suerte ko na you know what like chris like chris did he captured the 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 moment he cra- captured those idea he took it he claimed it for himself na kailangan trabahuin niya he took responsibility on his future. Hindi siya umaasa na next year sana magiging swerte. Hindi. He went through YouTube. He went. He searched online. He thought about things. He read books. He lo- he looked at people who will inspire him to push him further and improve his life. Kaya wag na po nating antayin ang ano ang next year pa. If you can take your action now, do it now. Wag na po, why why would you want to spend half of a month para lang umasa sa buenas na darating next year? Do it now. Whatever you can do to improve your life, go to our VA Bootcamp website, go to our Flip group, talk to somebody. Uh, read, do something. Marami tayong vacant time ngayon dahil bakasyon po ngayon. So if you have at least five minutes, then go ahead and browse. Watch uh, our videos. You have one hour to spare, then go ahead and watch our videos. And I hope that it will inspire you guys. It is not just Chris here. It is not just me. There are plenty of people out there. May mga silensyo pa dyan na mga hindi pa namin na interview. But they are full of information. And it's up to you guys to search for that person who you will listen to, whom you will be your idol. Katulad ni Chris dito, yung, yung mga naga idol idol kay Chris, yun, be inspired. Look for something that will uh, give you a reason to work for yourself and enjoy what freelancing gives you. So I hope that uh, before na dumating pa ang next year, who knows? But bago pa mag next year, may trabaho ka na. Wouldn't that be nice? Okay. Yeah. So thank you very much, Chris, for being with us today. Thank this you. is our final e- <laughs> Yes, this is our final episode for Jazz Success. And I hope, ladies and gentlemen, that you enjoyed it. And take whatever you can take with you. Blessings upon you, everybody. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. And I will see you next year. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Happy New Year, everyone. Merry Christmas. Bye-bye. All right. End. <laughs>